Morning, what is Phoebe's doing? That is a good question. Why am I standing on a yoga mat in yoga clothes? Well, I was about to take a yoga session and I couldn't focus my brain. And I thought, why not cook brunch at 10 o'clock in the morning? So I logged out of yoga and I'm about to cook brunch. Yay! Basically, I had a really unproductive few days, so I just wanted to cook brunch, get on with the work I wasn't able to complete because I was not feeling very well for the past couple of days, and, oh, not put a knife in between my fingers. Dangerous. Um, and uh, then go out cycling because it's a beautiful day, and I'd rather be cycling than doing yoga today. I want to get out of my place. Although the yoga class was actually surprisingly good, I, I, I could be convinced. I need a bowl. Here we have little Pikachu bowl. Pikachu bowl. I won him in a 7-Eleven in Matsumoto whilst the staff, the guy behind the counter, was dying laughing. I can't remember what I was doing. We've got it on video some, somewhere. And this guy was cracking up. And I was like, I've won, I've won! Which thing? And he was equally as excited to me to, to, to try and find out what prize I'd won. Um, I'm sure it was probably against the rules, because you're not supposed to film in there. But we had great fun with our small thing. Um, there's a recipe which says some amount of ginger. It said one kata, but I don't know what a kata is. So I'm just going to grate some ginger and see how it goes. Yeah, that looks alright. So what am I doing? I have this mixture left over. I wasn't expecting it to be a purple sweet potato, I thought it was a yellow one. Here it is. It's full of mustard and onion. And I think it's going to make a really good croquette. So basically taking the skin off this ginger in the most laziest, haven't quite got all of it off way and then I'm going to grate ginger all over Pikachu's face. Sorry Pikachu. I think that's enough ginger. No additive. Panko breadcrumbs, yay! Oh, it looks like I put my oven glove in the bin. That was silly. I've got some new sunflower oil and it comes with it comes with something free. It says to have some bit vitamin E. There's some are you joking me. Well, that's creepy. It's literally got like a little bowl of vitamin E free with my sunflower oil. I'm not entirely sure what I need to do with this little capsule of drugs that I got for free. Never mind. Um, back to what I actually wanted, sunflower oil. Yay! Right, oil in the pan. Some random amount of oil. Heat up. Can you hear? The speakers. Coronavirus is occurring. Don't leave your house. Oh well. The oil is getting hot. I'm not leaving my house. I might burn my house down, but I'm not leaving it. All right, it says it wants, um, how many spoonfuls of sake? Two. One, two, ginger. I'm gonna be putting some chicken in. It said about 200 grams, but I'm not even sure I'm making the same amount of potato because I've got a box of leftover potato. Forgot to check the ratio for that, didn't I? Oh well, I only have 200 grams of chicken, so let's pray. And it said about one and a half uh, spoonfuls of soy sauce, <gasps> which I have now splattered all over my arm in opening it. How not to cook. One, add a bit more because we like soy sauce. And then it's asking me to add an obscene amount of sugar. I said about one and a half teaspoon, uh, tablespoons of sugar, but 
I'm just gonna put one spoonful in because I just don't think we need to kill ourselves that much. Uh, right, let me show you. Ingredients all in here. Sugar, soy sauce, sake. Chicken is sticking because I've been trying to show you ingredients instead of actually moving it around. Right. Ingredients all in here. Turn up. Oh, shit. The ring isn't even on properly. That's why it's moving all over the place. Oh, that is a bit tragic, isn't it? <laughs> How not to cook. Um, is this a bit hot? Shit. Okay, we can rescue this. Which way is round, is it? Come on, you little bastard. I mean, you wonderful cooker. Go on, slot in, slot in. Slot into the hole. Yes, take it all. I did it. Who says I can't be professional? Right, well, that needs to cook some more. Don't mind me, just uh, wiping soy sauce off the floor. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and the walls. Oh, soy sauce on the walls. I've always wanted to make sure Pikachu has egg on his face. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Phoebe, why don't you have your own comedy show? So, I saw this very, very nice little um, recipe for croquet. It's not exactly the one I'm, well, I'm not really following a full recipe. And it had everything laid out in little bowls. So you've got flour here, egg, which I am whisking with this nice fork, and panko breadcrumbs. Look, I almost have a professional production line. <sighs> Oh my, I need to wash my hair. So, my chicken, minced chicken thigh meat is now all sweet, gingery, and sockeyed, I guess. Um, so I'm going to need to put some of it into here. Oh, is it going to be hot? That, that's going to be rubbish. Some of it into here. Oh yeah. Nice. And then I'm going to add my potato. And mix it all together. Oh, Ooh, look at that purple melting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mix, mix, mix. Oh, oh, oh. The um, chicken's kind of hot and the potato's really cold because it's come out of the fridge. So it's quite good fun. Oh. I interrupt croquet preparation in order to daringly chop a cucumber because we can have some salad. Oh, this cucumber I think is actually, oh dear, I think this cucumber is dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a dead cucumber. Oh dear. Let's see if the other cucumber's alive. This one might be luckier. Let's see. No, it's gone weird colour all the way through. You know what? This salad did not need cucumber anyway, because I've got a giant lettuce and loads of tomatoes and a ripe avocado. And I found this yesterday in the supermarket avocado tomato flavor spice mix thing awesome what kind of size ball do i feel like how big do you like your balls that looks pretty good right i think so so just dip it in the flour
maybe that's too much flour. Dip it in egg. And then dip it in breadcrumbs. Oh my gosh, this is messy, but really quite fun. I'm pretty much a genius. I have three equal size balls. Hitler has only got one ball, the other. Where, where's the other? In the Albert Hall? I don't even know what that means. Imagine if he had three balls though. Let's not imagine that. I wonder if I should actually make a video where um, I'm washed and dressed and have actually made up and look vaguely decent. But you know, this is how I live most of my life. <laughs> Ooh oh, so eggy and gloopy. Who doesn't want to live an eggy, gloopy life? <laughs> gloopy, gloopy, gloopy. Oh, the pine core. Oh, yeah. Is it okay to eat eggy bits? No, Zumi. Horrid. Astounding amount of mess aside, I now have, wow, how many is that? Seven, seven beautiful chicken purple sweet potato balls. Yeah. And mess everywhere. <laughs> and my salad. Okay. I don't know if it's hot enough, so let's pick the little squashed one as my experiment. That seems encouraging. Let's just do four. Don't want to overcrowd them. Oh, goodness. Oh, actually, they're cooking really well. Oh, God, hang on. Go put this down and rescue them. They cook really fucking quickly. Let's, let's, let's get this one out. Oh. Yeah, stay on there. Oh, sugar. Oh. Meanwhile, let's put this one in. They look like they need more panko on. They don't look as beautiful as other croquettes. Oh gosh. The beauty, the beauty is gone. Oh, that one's not even beautiful. I mean, look at that shape. You're the runt of the litter. Oh, they, look, they need more coating on. Look, it's bald, it's got a bald patch. Oh dear. Well, could have been worse. Could have been worse. <sighs> to be honest, they might not look that pretty, but I bet they taste amazing. I hope they taste amazing. My brunch plans will be ruined otherwise. Oh, look what I have here. I have two balls, the appropriate amount of balls. Sorry, sorry, purple, sweet potato, chicken, croquettes. I have the avocado tomato salad with that nice garlicky spice mix on top. And I have a ridiculously nice presentation. Wow, since when did I learn to present things so nicely? Ooh, this almost looks too good, but how does it taste? Okay, first mouthful, how is it? Mm. It could have been done with being a bit thinner because the outside's cooked and the inside's still a bit cold. But, mmm. The ginger chicken in there is 
is fantastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 